I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Today we're going to be shooting some BB pistols. In fact, uh, the one I'm going to start with is the Umarex and this is a very, very good replica. It's a Smith & Wesson M&P 40 and uh, I mean it's got all the features of the real thing including a takedown lever. You can take the slide off and I sprayed some uh, gun protect into there and it made it even better. Uh, the, it's got the lock back just like that. There, the only thing that I have seen as far as a drawback is right in here, the magazine. Now the magazine is very nice. It's the same weight that you would get with an actual loaded magazine. But the uh, problem is the loading. And I'll show you what I mean. Right here, the lever. If you don't have some fingernails or something, grabbing that and sliding it down and holding it, and then you better put it like this and drop the BBs in one at a time, that can get to be kind of a pain. Also, right here, you put your CO2 right in here. Now, a lot of your other guns have got their little device right in there, your tightening device. This one does not. It comes with the Allen wrench, and you have to put that in there, and I have CO2 in there. That's why I'm not taking it loose. And it's, it, you can cross thread it because you think that, okay, this is flat, the, the cap should go flat with it. It does not. It goes on an angle, as you can see right here. I'm sure. Yeah. So you can see that the angle can create a bit of a problem. So you want to make sure that you get that tightened right. Otherwise, I've been finding that this thing is a really, really nice BB gun. Uh, the trigger pull is very very short you can hit that thing and bang you've got it before you want it and I've done that a few times and I'll probably do it again today when I'm out there shooting to show you what it does it has the safety right here just a real nice safety on it and as I said it's it's really real it's got a rail too like if you want to put any accessories such as a laser sight that'll work well too uh, it is wearing right here you'll see it didn't take very long to start wearing right up into this area uh, but you know that's that I know of that's not bothering it other nothing as far as shooting goes it's got some nice white dot sights as you can see and uh, what do you say we load this up what I'm planning on doing is loading it with the Umarex steel BBs right here it has already got the Umarex CO2 as recommended with a drop of the RWS oil on it before I put the CO2 into it. But we'll load those and I may even shoot, I don't know, I might shoot three clips full. I'm not too sure because I might try these two, the Hornady Black Diamond. They have worked very, very well with the, these guns. So I might shoot some of that. We'll just find out. Uh, we'll shoot some targets and then I'll be back and we're going to talk about it.
All right, we're back with the targets. And as I had said earlier about them firing a little bit early because the trigger pull is very, very light, I did just that. And you've probably seen that when I did. I hit a little bit low. Uh, I fired it a little quicker than I wanted. So you want to be safe with these, just like any gun. It makes no difference. You know, make sure that your safety is on what it should be. And uh, uh, don't point it in the wrong direction, especially with this thing, because it could go off. And, and in a way, maybe that makes it nice, because you can very, very rapid fire with this. Uh, this is probably why some of the police departments are actually using this as a uh, practice weapon. They're setting up a BB range right within their stations and using it. So, And I can see why. It's very, very nice, good target shooting type thing. But as I said, this is the first target that I shot. And uh, I didn't do too bad. I got them right dead center here. And uh, But as I said, few of them are down here. It does shoot a little low, this particular one. So I have to bring it up and I always have to remember that and I kind of forget which you can see with this target, the next target. I shot that and was a little bit low with it and brought it up and then I got the uh, Hornady's and I loaded it up with those and I shot it again and uh, did pretty well. I got a lot of them up in here into the black circle and that's where I always like to get them when I'm shooting a pistol because this is a pistol target by the way. And I'm shooting at the uh, 7 yard range, seven actually 7.5 meters. and. Uh, that's where I kind of like to, to hone them in and, and work with them on. Then I'll move back to the 10 meter mark and what have you. But for video purposes, it's best just to use it there and go with it. It's a very good uh, level to train somebody if they've never shot a pistol. In fact, this is perfect. If you have somebody that has never shot anything and you're going to try to teach them how to shoot a pistol, get one of these. They, they are so real, like I said, it even has the takedown so you can clean it up inside if you want. Uh, it's uh, just a very, very nice BB pistol. Believe it or not, this is a BB pistol, and as such, make sure that you're safe with it. I mean, don't go waving it around in public, because nobody's going to know the difference between this and the real thing. Uh, so, yeah, definitely take a look at these. And until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of blanket.